Okay, let's take a look at what we have here. So you have two aces side by side here. Let's start with the first one, the Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles is earth, that's motion, that's being down to earth. It's also um, when you are back on your path. So continue being in integrity, continue speaking your truth with love and kindness. Looks like you're right in the middle of those, those big changes that you've been looking at for a couple of months, Aries. So continue on that path of integrity, uh, choosing your words with kindness. And for many of you, if it's releasing uh, friendships, relationships, love relationships, continue to be in integrity. Um, and even if, if the other person is not, but there is a shift here. It looks like in relationship space, <clears throat> excuse me, even for either for the better or um, releasing some behaviors in that relationship that are not working for you. So the Ace of Cups here and the Ace of Pentacles. So you are firmly on that path. Uh, don't lose your momentum, Aries. Just keep the prize. Uh, keep your eye on the prize. And the, for the future, it looks like you've been wanting to make these changes for a long time. And yes, they are very difficult. Um, some of them look like financially difficult. Just keep going. Keep your eye on the prize and keep moving forward and all will be revealed and um, the road to the truth is never an easy one but it is the most beneficial so keep on that path so what crosses you is the high priestess and the high priestess is one of balance one of taking the high road again um, living in integrity having your words be uh, thoughtful and just really, it's in the higher levels of consciousness. Um, for many of you, it may be reconnecting with the God of your heart, um, going back to church, doing some meditation, but really nurturing that spiritual side of you. And it looks like you have made a commitment to your mental health and your spiritual health to move out the patterns that are no longer serve you and no longer um, keep you in balance. The fruit here is lighting up, so there are some seeds of new things happening that have been planted. So continue to water those seeds of growth and make those changes one by one. But it, uh, the high priestess can also stand for the duplicitousness of life, the balance of life, the dark and the light the yin and the yang, um, the positive and the negative. So life may be presenting you with um, duplicitous things uh, right about now. So always choose the new road. Always choose the road that is ben beneficial to you. Uh, it looks like you are on a new path. So continue on that tra trajectory into the path of peace for you. So... That is what's happening. Judgment is, is above you. So be careful not to get into that judgment space about yourself or others. Everyone does their process a little differently. And sometimes it's hard to understand that process when it's in front of you and it doesn't make sense to you. So um, putting down the judgment, just waiting for the outcome to see what's going on. And also allowing yourself to make some mistakes, Aries. Um, I know the devil card is in here, so there may be a little backsliding into behavior that you're trying to change. So be kind to yourself. But the judgment card um, can be one of great focus as well. So um, that's a good thing. Um, so use your balance use your positive mindset and kind of put down the judgments of making mistakes and doing things that isn't necessar necessarily the way that you would do them, dear Aries. So moving into the past position, this is the Ace of Cubs. I think this is your aha moment that you had last month or the end of November. It's just the wanting things to change, um, making the commitment to yourself, the God of your heart, and making commitment to the change, whether you know how to do it or not. But you, it looks like there was a conscious effort to make some changes from behaviors, relationships, um, jobs, things that did not work for you, allowing yourself to have your emotions and have your joys. 
Um, the Ace of Cups is one of abundance and one of being on the right path to commit to abundance and commit to change. The uh, Dove of Peace is lighting up here, so there may be a situation, Aries, that has been tumultuous, a little bit staticky with communication. It looks like it has that relationship has taken a turn for much more awareness, and um, it looks like a little bit kinder communication between those parties. So um, looks like you've put down the sword a bit and taking a step back Aries and see what works for you and what works for others but you are pretty firmly on that path of change with these two aces right here there is some fear that kind of creeps into your space maybe a bit of insecurity this card can stand for theft insecurity fears in general but it looks like you have made that commitment to change and you are doing the work so Congratulations, Aries. That is a wonderful thing to continue. And you know, it's always two step forwards, one step back. So keep going. Um, this is the nine of pentacles, and this is reflective. This is a bit of reflection. Um, taking a look at the changes that you've made. Is that working? Do you need to tweak the change a little bit? But for the most part, you have continuously been releasing some fears, some behaviors. For many of you, it could be addictions. Um, just really accepting responsibility for your parts in situations. So I commend you, Aries. Keep it up. Um, it looks like you are on the tail end of the refinement. Nine is almost the end. Ten is when you are living in that change. So you are almost there. Do not give up. Continue to stay on your path. Continue to embrace your kindness um, towards change and put that fear down. I know it's very real. It's there and that's fine that it's there. It's kind of like that little bit of uh, taking our temperature. Our fear kind of takes our temperature. Do we want to do this? But don't, don't let it hold you as a prisoner um, towards your progress and your fears and dreams. So um, take note uh, about safety. Do the things, you know, crank up your common sense. If it feels unsafe, don't do it. But please, uh, Aries, put down that fear of change. You've already stepped into the world of change and it's on its way. The ball is rolling. So continue on that. And I, I think that you're getting um, positive validations for those changes already. You have already seen those positive validations and you've seen how some of your new tools are working. So continue on that. It is not a process that changes overnight. Um, so you have been working very diligently and very hard um, Aries to make some of those changes and those responsibilities have that shift in responsibility as well. Looks like you're taking on more responsibility where um, others have, you know, lightened the load a bit in things, but it looks like you were handed some new responsibilities. Wouldn't say they're new, but they've been yours and you've been very fearful of how to rectify them, how to create it, but you're doing really well. So keep going on those new endeavors, but there is also some shift in your awareness for your spirituality. You have the Hierophant here, you have the High Priestess and both the Aces, so it looks like um, your spiritual self has taken a step into more havingness, more responsibility, um, really looking at how our actions uh, really do speak volumes more than our words, really taking into account on what we're here for. It looks like you have done this big emotional and spiritual shift. You know, what are we here for? Um, and my philosophy is we're here to learn. We're here to learn as spirit so we can move up the ladder of spirituality, kindness, and evolve into the wonderful beings that we're supposed to be. So it looks like you've been really focusing more on your spirituality. And for many of you, it's going back to church, uh, to temple, to meditation classes, or even just doing a mind, body, spirit kind of yoga thing. But it looks like you've been really looking at how to increase 
your spirituality, how to embrace it on a daily basis. The Hierophant, as I say, is here and the High Priestess. So you will find the balance. It does come easier if you use it every day, whether it's just a prayer in the morning of your day or at night before you go to bed or doing a full meditation um, or seeing a psychic those, uh, or a priest. All of those count as, as moving towards your spiritual freedom. So keep that good work up, Aries. Um, you've been uncovering some truths about yourself, some that lay heavy on your heart and your soul, but they are moving out and you are having to walk away from some nor but behaviors that felt normal to you, relationships that felt normal. There is a queen of swords in your space. That is an air sign. That's Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. This looks like um, a relationship that's been very important to you. There has been some shifts in that relationship. I'm not sure for um, my partnered Aries if this is your partner that you're making changes with or a relationship like a child or a best friend. But there is a shift in the focus on this relationship. If that is a love relationship, you know, it can mean how do you juggle the kids if you're separating and how do you do it with love and kindness? Um, there seems to be a little bit of demands from this person. They are figuring it out as well. This is a new space. So I wouldn't say this person is demoted, but they are have a different place in your heart and a different uh, place in your life. So for those of you that have taken a step back from friendships or speaking your truth, um, that static will resolve itself soon. Looks like you are losing some sleep about it and praying a lot about it, but that will resolve. Uh, there is a bit of a temptation. It looks like it may be even with this person. Um, to go back to ha the way it was, but things have changed so drastically in this relationship, whether it's love relationship, child, uh, parent, uh, best friend, something like that. The shift has happened already, so going back and doing things the way that they were is really not a possibility. You can try if you'd like, dear Aries, but um, the changes have happened already, so embrace those changes. Looks like you are having some very vivid or very fluid dreams or nightmares that are kind of holding you in this fear space. So um, a lot of times when I have those very telling dreams, when I get up in the morning or even before I put my feet on the ground, I'll write it in a, in a book, kind of like a dream journal, just to get it out of my space, get it out of my head. Um, so I would suggest it looks like you're having some very vivid dreams, whether they're around your fears. Um, usually our dreams are some kind of messages that reflect what is happening, either the things that we don't want to look at or the things that we are fearful of. And many times that's all it is, is our fears coming to the surface. So let them bubble up. Uh, put them down on paper if that serves you, if that works for you, Aries. Um, and then visit it that night to see if it was telling of what happened in the day or what happened uh, as you're releasing some fears. But yeah, you are a little fearful. There has been some very quick changes, some other changes that have been slower on the uptake. Um, but it does kind of hold you in a fear space because it is different and new. But Aries, you're a fire sign. Jump into the unknown. Jump into that um, new and wonderful creations that you have been looking at for a very long time. The culmination card really is to continue to walk away. Continue to walk away from those creature comforts that no longer serve you, whether they are your behaviors or whether they were relationships or whether they are jobs that do not serve. Continue to look towards the future, even though it is scary and the unknown is always scary. Change is very scary. Um, the moon is lighting up. It's illuminating. So it looks like you're really getting in touch with the inner part of you, the inner desires, those dreams and hopes that you have. So as much as you have the fears running right now, you have some of the dreams and hopes and those inner wonderful desires that you've wanted to do for quite a while. <coughs> Whether it's the magic of traveling or meeting new people or just trying a different food. Um, continue on that road of change, even though it's it's 
pretty scary, but you're right there. You have already committed to the change. You have already committed to um, changing some responsibilities, changing some focuses. So continue on that path. This is a eight. So this is a continuation of the changes and walking away from things that have, have brought you joy in the past is very difficult. So allow yourself, don't, don't judge yourself too harshly if you have to have a good cry over the changes um, to continue doing them. Time to plant some new seeds of change. This is the nine. Uh, this is discs. So your earthly stuff, just uh, continue moving that earth energy, whether it's cleaning out things, whether it's uh, painting things. This is more on a physical level. So continue to make those changes on a physical level. And I feel for many of you is really making a commitment to your health. This orange is lighting up, healing your heart, your body, your soul whether it's, you know, um, losing weight or just making a commitment to walking around the block and getting more fresh air. But um, it looks like there was some, a physical challenge for you within the maybe the last month or two or a continuation of one, but there has been a mind shift in um, really being responsible for getting your earth suit or your uh, body temple so continue along that way, and I think that you're seeing some changes to your health already, to your well-being, and sometimes just cutting out something that you know that is not healthy for you, like sodas. Um, you see and feel the change of that commitment, and that looks like what's happening. So don't beat yourself up if you fall a little bit. That's okay. And also the devil here. The devil is commitment. It's just kind of like revisiting old behaviors that we've made a commitment to change and not do anymore. A lot of times spirit, God, the supreme Twinkie, whatever you want to call it, brings that exact same situation. That person, you know, dangles that carrot to make sure that you are committed to yourself and to this journey into the change. So the devil just basically taunts you a little bit. Um, for those of of you embracing sobriety. It could be running into, say, an old dealer or running into one of your drug buddies or your drinking buddies. It is just a test. And what you do with that test either propels you forward into your wildest dreams that you are setting up for yourself, or you take a step back and you try it again. So don't give up. Don't give up. So that is your basic reading for January 